Hello and welcome. Andrew Goodman here, bringing you another tutorial on Affinity Photo for the iPad. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to use the shape tool in Affinity Photo for the iPad, how to select and draw a shape, use gestures with shapes, adding and changing the stroke or a border, changing the colors, modifying the shape properties, showing different shape examples and much more. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's just go into Affinity Photo and we're going to load up the project we're working on in the last video. If you didn't see the last video, we use the smart selection tool to cut out the hair on this here lady and the smart selection tool then the refined edge tool done a really really excellent job so we're going to do some shape layers in this design if we click into the first shape layer it's the rectangle tool if we hold down just for a split second we get tons and tons of options and in each of these we'll not go through all of them but we'll we'll try some of them there's tons of options in them so we'll start with the the rectangle tool if we make a selection you can see just by clicking and dragging if it do two fingers to undo because we maybe don't want it that color the color of the object will depend on what the color we have on the color studio so we'll maybe change it to let's see yeah maybe something like that just just for a bit of contrast so we'll click out of that if we just draw a square Starting at the top corner, again, two fingers to undo, top corner, we can make it. it. While we're doing this, if we hold one finger down while doing this, it will make it into a square. If we do two fingers, you'll be able to draw the rectangle or the shape, but it'll go from the center of where you clicked. So if I want to click, say, on this girl's nose, and then two fingers, automatically, that's the center point of that. And if I hold three fingers, then it makes it proportionate in size. So that makes it into our square. That's more or less it for the, the rectangle tool, the square tool. You will notice there's nothing here about a stroke, about adding an outline, adding a border to any of these selections. To do that, and I have to click back into it, Layer Studio, click back into our rectangle. We'll have to go into the pen tool. And it's from here we can change the width of the stroke. So again, we can change it by moving our finger left and right, up and down, or simply by tapping on it. We'll maybe do 10 of a stroke. And by going into the color studio, we can just flick across. That'll change the color. So now it's black in the middle, orange at the side. But if we want orange in the middle, we'll click into black and we'll maybe make that a nice, slightly off red slightly pink color and again we can change that so we'll just actually make this 20 thickness go back to our selection of it and we'll maybe just go up the layers panel and just bring it down behind our model and you can see where we cut out in the last video that is class and we'll make it a different size well maybe there's no real design or reason what i'm doing here it's just uh Something that maybe semi looks cool. We're going to be going into the Layer Studio very, very soon. But uh, I simply just clicked and dragged down below our model. And we'll maybe click into this and we'll go into another tool. All fairly standard enough. We'll go into Star. Star's quite interesting. Again, if we bring it down, if we hold one finger, it'll keep it in proportion. Two fingers, it'll do it from the center. Three, it'll do it in the center and keep it in proportion and scale maybe just do one finger for there and seeing didn't mean this to happen but it, again it's a good teaching technique seeing i was selected the rectangle uh, layer and i made a new object the new object just went above the rectangle we can't see it because the model's in the way so we'll just hold the star layer and just put it up above we'll maybe bring it back down later but just so we can see it and we'll maybe just change the color of it Let's see. So this is the outline we're changing because the outline's being selected. So maybe something like this. It's just really playing about. We'll select our orange and we'll maybe make it something like that. Again, really just, oh, just playing about. What happened there was I went to move it and a new star was selected. That's because I was still in the star selection. So two fingers to undo up to the move tool and now I can move it and we'll just hit that button away to get that away again stroke if we go into the pen tool stroke will change it 
two fingers to undo. We'll keep it at 20 pixels, that's okay. And we can move it. To change the properties of it, we'll need to click into the star menu again in the context menu. And this wee menu just went off there, but if we look down here, we can change it to five points from eight to, let's see what we can go up to, up to 40, 48. So if we maybe make it, maybe make it 10 points. And the inner radius, if we click this, it actually changes it. So that's quite nice. That's like something you would get 10 pound off or $10 off sticker in the shop. We can put it right down Denary looking like a star or something quite cool like that. Maybe bring it back to about 40. Again, clicking on it, we can change it to the exact value we want. Again, I went to move it. That's my mistake. If we click on the move tool, we can move it back down here. So other things here, curved edges. If we click curved edges, you'll see if I zoom in actually, a few wee dots here. If we just click on this one, this will curve one of the edges. So now we've got like a bit of a ninja star type thing happening. If we click on this one and we do something similar, we've now got, and that just snapped there when it was equal to that their end. We've got a bit of a, a bit of a flower going on, which is pretty cool too. A bit of a hippie type, <laughs> type flower. This whole design's actually turned into a wee bit looking like a hippie. If we go to, if we go to curves, that'll simply snap everything. Or not snap everything, it'll make everything in place. So I can't now change, even if I go back down to the star, I can't change any of these values. It's it's now fixed. So if I go back a few times, transform, convert to curves, now I can change it again. And again with those values, we can change it right up. That's quite nice. We'll bring it down. It's like a bit of a three-leaf clover. We'll bring it this because there's if we zoom in, there's another wee point here when we've got curved edges we can change and that simply moves it right up so we can nearly make it a circle we'll bring it down like that and that there's kind of cool we design so we'll bring it we'll bring it down i like the flower and we'll do the move tool click off just to see how it looks and we'll maybe move that down here and we'll bring it down in behind our model again holding it down and we'll bring it down that looks okay. Let me move it up a wee bit so we can see it a wee bit more. It maybe doesn't look the best, but we're just playing about. Star tool, other things. We'll go to the, the circle here. And it's quite cool. So one finger holding down. I'll keep it portionate. And again, we'll just change the colour up. We'll maybe make this a slight pinky. Click on the green. Move it to a purpley. Let me go into the pen tool and we'll change this to maybe 10, maybe 20 again. Just just so we can see it a wee bit. And uh, we'll, maybe, we'll maybe keep this one on top. So I'll drag it down again. It doesn't look too good like that. One finger down and that will keep it in proportion. And we'll maybe just bring this wee bit. Let me just... finger down, pop it down here. Again, uh, <laughs> not too fussed in the design, but we're not worrying about the design at the minute. So if we click into it again, we've got a few things here. We can actually make this into a donut. So simply by clicking it, now we've got a hole in the middle of it. We can, do, we can change the whole radius. So we can change it to 100%. So we're just seeing the stroke. Or we can change it right down to not percent, so it's a complete circle. We'll bring it back up to about fifty percent, and start angle, end angle. What we can actually do is open. We're going to open it up, and if you go right past it, then it's changed it to only see a bit of it. So that's the start angle. That's the end angle. We're going to maybe look, make something look a bit like. Pac-Man here, if we change it, oh, like that. And if we invert the angle, what that's going to do is it's just going to have the bit that wasn't shown. So again, invert it back, we we'll can change this down a wee bit. And if we just want this bit up, we can invert that angle. Just changing that, you'll see these wee 
orange dots. If we click and move, that's another quick way of changing the whole radius. And again, up here, that's another quick way of changing the start and end point. It's very nice, actually. It's really nice to be able to do it that way rather than that way, rather than the context menu. There's something very nice about that. So that's kind of a bit of a, a mad design. Again, we can close the path to undo it and then curves will just kind of fix that fix that shape in place. I'm okay with that. The only other wee thing is we can change this angle too by moving this wee light dot. Again, one finger will move it in 15 degrees. We'll maybe bring it down like that. Again, I keep changing. I keep going to move that. But it just makes a new shape, so two fingers, one finger to move it, and we'll maybe maybe bring this down below to the very bottom, or above the fill, one finger, and that is looking a bit mad. Is there any other shapes we'll want to have a look at? Maybe look at the arrow, okay, and one finger, drag it out, one finger in this. And we'll change the colour. We'll maybe change this to blue. Something a wee bit like that. Again, we can change the thickness of the arrow. We can change the different kinds of arrow ends. Again, this is for the left side. And then for the right side. Let me put it none. So we're just... Uh, Going one way, we can proportionally, that's proportionally changing it. So we can zoom in and move these wee bits up to maybe move that down a wee bit. And again, that's a nice way. And you can change the thickness by moving these wee bits in too. Just move that up a wee bit. And again, maybe just rotate it. Up, something like that. Maybe just zoom in. Change the move tool. Two fingers will move the canvas down. And we'll do something like that. I may bring this flower thing up. I'll go to the shape there. The go up to layer studio. Maybe move this. It's called start. It's more like a flower now. Maybe move it up above our model. Although I do like the hair, so we'll maybe move it back down. Again, this isn't the design I'm likely to uh, to keep, but it's just to show you what's possible. Again, heart. We can draw a heart. We'll move it to the top layer again. The reason why we're drawing a heart and it's going in behind is because the layer we was we were selected on was below the model. So by click, draw, trying to draw the heart here. It'll draw it above the star but below the model. So if I click the model or even above the arrow, once I draw the heart, it goes above everything. Again, we can make changes like this or we can move it like that. Let's very quickly tear call out if you're doing a, I'll undo that heart. Some kind of comic book. We can change all these things here. You know, you've, you've so much, so much choice in all these shape layers and by changing the colours, cogs, crescents, pies, double star, which we're more or less made with that star at the start, triangle, one finger, maybe end on a triangle, you can move the triangle, right angle, the other right angle, or just off centre a wee bit. Just click on the layer studio and move it just here to the hand tool. And there we have it. Uh not the prettiest design not the prettiest design at all. But we learned a lot about our shape layers and about how we can modify the shape layers. And in the next video we're gonna look at the fill tool and we'll, we'll, st we'll stay in this design and we'll show you how the, the fill tool works. So there you have it. Please like this video if you enjoyed it 
or if you found it useful. Please subscribe as I'll be bringing more videos like this to you every week. Please feel free to comment below if you have any thoughts or questions about this video or if you have any other ideas or suggestions to make for me to cover in a future video. I would look forward to hearing them too. If you like this video, you might also like this one now appearing on the screen. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.